Uh, hello everybody um, this video is to demonstrate uh, Siemens PLC which is a basic uh, type which is Siemens logo which is this type you can see uh, it's coming with the cable programming cable a special cable used and this PLC is very simple basic PLC which include um, eight digital inputs and screen and four relay digital outputs and it's uh, then rail mounted can install it anywhere and can program it it's easy to use I'm gonna show you how to use it and how to program this PLC in basic and uh, there will be another videos for some advanced programming so simple you have here this PLC is 12 24 volt DC here in L and M L which is negative and M is it's, I'm sorry L is it positive and M is negative so we can can use the uh, DC power supply to generate 12 volt for us it's already made you can see it's 12 volt and the PLC is on You can see now it's uh, on and uh, it's giving stop and if I press OK button it was working and we can say yes OK and you have many menus here card You can copy project or from card PLC that we don't have here program if you want now start again it started you can see the date is not right we can configure the date also okay if you go so now it's running if you want to stop it you can stop it from here you can go set clock you can set the clock here uh, going down you can now uh, already set up the, uh, the time and you can see if you start it the time is set and uh, we are gonna now to use the software and how to program this PLC here is Siemens logo can create new project call it an MY creator project name is first project uh, 
and other parameters you can put it if you want press ok okay and uh, you can use both the ladder language or function block if you want um, here the normal menus you can use some of them uh, for example you have option here you can select if you want function block diagram or ladder language select ok so let us first create simple program and see how it works and we can take this menu is you can select the contacts or break contacts which is not uh, analog contact and relay output inverted output whatever the functions you can find it here timers delay timers and let's start and take one of them here okay we need these <clears throat> so here it give you uh, it gives you selection which input uh, you need you have i1 i2 i3 and uh, we have eight if you remember eight inputs you can select one and then you can change it of course okay if you need two so these i1 here i1 you can see I1, I2, I3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are the same. You can select whatever you want. Right? So now we need also relay output. Okay, which is Q1. Which is Q1, here you can see. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, whatever you want, which port you want to use, you are free to use. So now we can uh, connect them from here you can select uh, connect connect these with this so these small or easy function if these on these will go on right and you can see it in the PLC and uh, you can hear the relay output because uh, the output is here in the PLC it is uh, relay output so you can hear the tick in the program or in the PLC itself you can hear it easily that's mean the relay is energized so first you can use the simulation and then we can go to the real input and output so we can First of all, save project. And uh, PC to logo we can download. Here you can see. We can download PC to logo and you will see here if I click yes you will you will see the program is downloading now the PLC so it's working so your program is now in the PLC so it will require to 
to go to start and now your program is working inside the PLC so you can test your software switch to logo mode yes so this is running now so we can go to simulation okay now this is online what going on the PLC see this is on and the output is off if you want to go on click here so now this is on see the output is going energized and click again it's off on off so this is how you can test your software is right and program and uh, and then applied to your real world so this is simple software simple video to how to configure simple software and how to use the Siemens logo and in the other video will show you how to use the Siemens logo for the real application and uh, how to control the lights with the buttons and other controls. Thank you.